Now you might not like what I'm about to say, but I want to make the case that God intends to destroy and bring America to the bar of justice. America can't take it. She loved to dish it out, but she don't want to eat the meal that she prepared for others. Now, I want to get right to the point. In the Bible, in the book of Revelation, 2 and 9 and 3 and 9, it talks about the synagogue of Satan. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. And I know you pastors, you read that. Yes, sir. But I'll be damned if you preached it. <laughs> but, but I'm going to help you out today. Because I love you. And I want to I really want Satan to know that his day is up. You know, Billy Graham is one of the greatest pastors in the 20th century. And I got some quotes here for Mr. Graham, whom I had the pleasure of meeting yes, sir. Yes, sir. at the 75th anniversary of Time Magazine and all those that were on the cover of Time, we were blessed to uh, have an invitation and I got invited and I went. And everybody who was on the cover was there. Henry Kissinger was there, and Muhammad Ali, and Bishop uh, this and that, and <laughs> Billy Graham was there. When everything was over, I wanted to meet Billy. I, I'm not common with him, I can't call him, I can't call him Billy because he's older than me and now he's passed away. But I admire him. When I got to where they were, he was talking to Muhammad Ali. And when he saw me, he dropped Muhammad Ali like a hot muffin. And he ran to me and hugged me and kissed me. And he, we wasn't queer or nothing. But I'm going to tell you why he hugged and kissed me. Because one day, after Israel had bombed a plane of innocent people, and it had upset President Nixon and upset Mr. Graham, so he showed up at the White House. And in their conversation, Mr. Graham said, you know, in the Bible, in the book of Revelations, there are two types of Jews. Amen. 
Did you hear what I said? Yes, and Mr. Graham said, now, there are Jews that observe the Torah and there are other Jews who don't want to live by the preachings and teachings of God. So listen to what Mr. Graham said to Mr. Nixon. He said, talking about Jewish power, this stranglehold has got to be broken or this country is going down the drain. What stranglehold? He was talking about Jewish power and the abuse of that power. Well, I didn't come here to hear that. Well, uh, you want to hear about the end of the war, don't you? You're in the right place. <laughs>